very much. Sorry about that little delay. Um, it's kind of weird when you got a bunch of monitors working, working from home. But welcome from uh, from Cybertrain University. Hopefully everybody is doing uh, doing okay with this whole coronavirus and everything that's happening. Uh, I am the president and founder of Cybertrain University. Hopefully you like to watch that video we just showed you. It was just basically a quick little introduction of some students that we've trained that wanted to give back and let you guys know some of the experiences that they have gone through in their lives and what the uh, great experience that happened here with Cybertrain University. And hopefully you will be that person one day. Uh, but to do that, you first have to make sure if this is for you or not. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, fellow traders, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's happening which is the elections coming up next week. You got the coronavirus that's coming up. You got hurricanes, you got fires, you got catastrophes. You got the market that's uh, basically flat today, got crushed yesterday. What do we do? How do we trade? How do we protect our money? And that's what we're looking to do. Well, welcome, Carl, uh, Carol from the UK. Welcome to see you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, um, so what we need to do, everybody, is we need to go out there and I need to show you how to play the game of trading. Now, before I do that, um, I don't want to bore you with this, but I need to let you know a little bit about myself. And I really think this is very important because, you know, when you go out there, you want to know what you're going to be learning in this webinar. You want to be also knowing who is the presenter, why are you even here and listening to him? And am I really going to get what I'm looking to get out of it? But I could tell you this. Um, if you're here to get free stuff, you're in the wrong room. If you're here to win a computer, if you're here, do you think you're going to be able to take something and go do it on your own without going through a program? You're wasting your time. I'm just being very straight with you because trading is not about us giving you stuff. It's about you going out there, earning it and buying it on your own because you appreciate it more. All right. Uh, that's all fun and fun. But you know what? At the end of the day, we don't need to buy your business. You need to go out there and like, you know what? I need to learn this and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. To, uh, to, to bust my butt because I could see it finally makes sense. And how do I know that? Because I was you um, 25 years ago. Um, and basically the things I'm gonna be talking about, just like you see here on the screen, about level three, level four, I'm gonna talk about entries and exits. How do you find these stocks? Risk management. I'm all gonna do this in one hour. So it's gonna go pretty quickly, but you know what? It's gonna be so simple and it's gonna make so much sense that you're going to realize that you wish you didn't you, you started learning this before you got started so anyway just to tell you a little about cyber trade university um i am one of the original souls bandits i don't know if you ever read any of the old books but the souls bandits were actually the original day traders they called us souls because there was a vehicle we used to use called small order execution system and market makers called us thieves, so they called us bandits because they didn't like the idea that we had the same access as they did so um but that's basically, you could see how we evolved over the years. Now, um, I was a prop trader for over five years. I worked as a, as a market maker, as a trader. And let me tell you something I have learned. When I stepped foot the first day on the job, the first day, I realized I was trading blind. And that's what you're gonna learn today. You're gonna be shocked. You're gonna actually be so upset to say, how could, first of all, how could anybody could compete without knowing this data? How could anybody even want, not even know this information? Okay. And it's not, I'm not going to come back to you and tell you about, Hey, I got the next crystal ball. I got the next indicator for you. Cause I don't use indicators. Okay. I don't, I don't work on the past. I work on the future. Wouldn't that be great? Well, guess what? You're going to see it, but let me tell you what you're about to learn is something I learned over the years. Uh, as a as a as a trader, but this is what I learned when I left. I know a lot of you know that education does cost money because it's work, right? Well, back then, um, our education, what we paid for, was actually splitting our profits with a brokerage firm, and we actually had to work for free. Okay, and uh, what I learned over the years is that, well, not over the years, but when I got started is that uh, eventually I was a very good trader. I was actually semi-retired at the age of 24. I started when I was 22. And uh, I, well, I'm an entrepreneur, so I'm like, you know what? I was trying to find a ways where I could take what I've learned and you know, and do it on my own. Real, the bottom line is I didn't want to split the profits anymore with, with the brokerage firm. But I had a very good relationship with my brokerage firm. And they told me something that I'm passing over to you. They said, Fausto, if you want to be a good trader, Okay, you have to surround yourself with good traders. You can't do this by yourself. 
How many of you guys are trading by yourself? How's that working out for you? Well, anyway, it's time to find and, and, and deal with a team. And that's what I ended up doing. So I started one of the first very own online educational schools in the industry. Actually, there's a lot of schools out there that are students, that are instructors, um, that are out there. And you could basically see due to our chat room, the technology we use. And, and, and we're happy because we're glad they're out there teaching you guys. Because that is trading is an 80% failure rate. And 99% of the people that fail are self-taught. Self but anyway, not to bore you with that, but when it comes to trading, um, what I'm looking for is I'm going to teach you guys our style of trading. Now, how do I know what the style is? I was actually a Wall, a Wall Street market maker. I live here in New York, and I was trained by the best traders in the world. And I'm going to show you exactly how simple trading is. And if you get it, well, I'm going to invite every single one of you to come in my trading room right after today's event. Every one of you, because it's going to make so much sense that you're going to say, it can't be this easy. And I'm like, yeah, it is. And you're like, nah, it's impossible. Please show me. So every one of you get ready and do not log out because first I want to show you the style, show you exactly how Wall Street market makers trade. And I'm going to invite every one of you to come in to a live trading room for one whole week and show you that we practice what we preach. So that is the reason why I'm here. And that picture there on the left is obviously, you remember those big jumbo 10,000 pound monitors? You know what's so funny about that picture? I just wanna, I wanna just, you know, this, this, this is all kidding aside. If I can make money on that 13 inch monitor, how the hell did some people can't even make money with six monitors? I, I still can't get it. We used to trade on that little dinky little monitor right there. And by the way, look at that screen really quick. Do you believe that screen is the same data we use today? Right? What has changed? Internet technology. We got bigger monitors. That's what changed. But anyway, that's what basically we're going to cover. Now, um, so what I want to do is I want to invite you to be my second family because uh, I have two families and been married for over almost 23 years now. And I got three wonderful sons. Obviously, you could see all my girls. <laughs> but um, but what's great about trading is that you have the freedom to go wherever you want. Um, you could travel. That actually picture was in Dominican Republic. Um, you know, we, we were there. I was able to do my events there, train my traders, and then be with, with the with the people on the right. And look at the people on the right. Do you notice that they there's no there's nothing fancy about those people? They're just like you. They're ordinary people that are sick and tired dealing with the general, uh, with the, the stockbrokers and mutual funds trading their money. And they're like, well, you know what? Are they really making you money? And then when they're losing, what do I need them for? I can do it myself. And that's the beauty of it. So let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. So I have a quick question before we get started. Could everyone just tell me, um, why are you here? What is the main reason why are you here today? And please don't tell me because it's about my good looking hair. Because someone told me that the other day. Why are you here? To learn. Okay. Al, anyone else? To find out about level three. Okay. Um, I'm waiting for somebody to say the magic word. Learn how to cash in on the market from Paul. Make sums of money, Gerard. Okay. Make money. Okay, listen, I'm going to answer for all of you. Let's not, no kidding aside. You know why you're here? You're here to make money. That's it. You real. that's the only reason why you're here to make money. And to make money, you first have to learn how to stop losing it. That is the number one thing that you have to learn. And that's what we really teach. Everyone's like, Fausto, could you tell me what to buy? What, I saw you on YouTube. You traded Pinterest. You killed it uh, on that swing trade. Or you, you saw us trade NEO. Or taking a loss and getting out of, you know, uh, Nicola. You know, like, how do you know these things? Listen, the winners take care of themselves. Your biggest problem is you need to know how to control the losses. And that's the number one thing that we really teach here at Cybertrain University. So let's go and begin. So we got this big election coming up. And we're not here to talk about, hey, I'm a Republican. You're, uh, you're, I'm a Democrat. I'm, I'm the best. This is what's going to happen. At the end of the day, we're here for the same exact reason. 
to make money. Either one of these uh, these uh, uh, people running for office are going to shift certain industries in the market that are going to make things take off and certain ones get crushed. And us as traders, you can't take it personal. You know what their their ideologies are. You know what they what what they uh, what they want to do, and you know what industries are going to do well, and you know what industries are going to get crushed. So as traders, even if the opposite party gets elected, you can't sit there and harp over it. At the end of the day, you still got to make money, right? So why not capitalize on it? Then go out there, then guessing. So the whole idea is to predict the future, right? So we need to know exactly what these people stand for, what exactly these these exchanges are. You could see Bank of America, JP Morgan, they basically are coming up with their whole analysis and stuff like that. Honestly, I don't believe any of their stuff, okay? I don't believe any of them. They're, the, you know, every bank is, is biased on some type of, you know, politician, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna show you how to get around all these guys, okay? Because they can't outsmart the street. They are only one institution. There are hundreds, thousands of institutions out there that blow them away, all right? And you know what? One analyst could destroy the company. If you don't believe me, look what happened to Bastards.